फाइंड द स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ सेवेंटीन टू फाइंड द स्क्वायर रूट बाय लॉन्ग डिविजन मेथड फॉर दैट फर्स्ट वी शुड फ्रेम इट इन दिस वे सी दैट इज सेवेंटीन ओके नेक्स्ट नाउ हियर वी हैव सेवेंटीन सेवेंटीन इज नॉट अ परफेक्ट स्क्वायर सो नाउ वी शुड चेक सेवेंटीन फॉल्स बिटवीन विच टू परफेक्ट स्क्वायर नंबर्स एंड द परफेक्ट स्क्वायर नंबर्स आर दीज दैट इज टू इंटू टू फोर थ्री इंटू थ्री नाइन फोर इंटू फोर सिक्सटीन फाइव इंटू फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड सो ऑन दीज नंबर्स आर कॉल्ड परफेक्ट स्क्वेर्स हियर वी हैव सेवेंटीन इट लाइज बिटवीन दीज टू नंबर्स सो नाउ वी टेक द स्मॉलर नंबर दैट इज सिक्सटीन फोर फोर्स सिक्सटीन सो वी टेक फोर हियर फोर हियर एंड सिक्सटीन Now you subtract. Seventeen minus sixteen is one. Okay. Now here we should add these two numbers and write here. That is four plus four eight. Now we should write a number here. But when I write a number here, then this number will be smaller than this. so what we do in normal division is we used to put a dot and take zero here but here we should take two zeros in finding the square root you put a dot you should take two zeros remember that next here i have to write a number condition is whatever number i write here here also i should write the same number and also when you multiply this number and this number then the resulting number should be either equal to this or smaller than this but not larger than this so let us find the number here if we take 2 we should also multiply by 2 these two numbers should be same so 2 into 2 4 2 into 8 16 we got 164 exceeding 100 so don't take 2 so you take 1 so 1 here 1 here 81 here now you subtract so 0 9 10 10 minus 1 9 9 minus 8 1 now here you should add these two numbers and write 81 plus 1 is 82 now i should write a number here when i write the number here then this number will be smaller than this decimal we already have so you directly take two zeros two zeros okay next i should write a number here condition is whatever number i write here here also i should write the same number and also when you multiply this number and this number then the resulting number should be either equal to this or smaller than this but not larger than this number so let us find the number here if we take 2 Eight two two. We should also multiply by two. These two numbers should be same. So two into two four. Two into two four. Two into eight sixteen. What if we take three? Eight two three into three. Three into three nine. Three into two six. Three into eight twenty four. This number is larger than this. 
so we take this one this is for 2 and 2 so we take 2 here 2 here and here 1 6 double 4 now you subtract so here 8 9 10 so 10 minus 4 6 9 minus 4 5 8 minus 6 2 here we should add these two numbers and write here 822 plus 2 is 824 okay now I should write a number here but when I write a number here then this number will be smaller than this decimal we already have so you directly take two zeros okay two zeros next here we should write a number condition is whatever number I write here here also I should write the same number and also when you multiply this number and this number then the resulting number should be either equal to this or smaller than this but not larger than this so let us find the number here here it is 8000 there 25000 so I will take 3 so it is 8243 we should also multiply by 3 these two numbers should be same so 3 into 3 9 3 into 4 12 so 2 1 3 into 2 6 plus 1 7 3 into 8 24 24,000 we got what if we take 4 you should also multiply by 4 4 into 4 16 6 1 4 into 4 16 plus 1 17 7 1 4 2 8 plus 1 9 4 8 32 this number is exceeding this so we should take this number this number is for 3 and 3 so you take 3 here 3 here and here 2 4 7 2 9 now you subtract and it goes on it is enough if we take up to three decimal places so now square root of 17 is this one that is 4.123 and it goes on so this is our answer am i Clear?